All right, Shalom. First and foremost, just as always, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, being Yahweh, and that of the Messiah, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. There is no other name given among men whereby you must be saved. Point blank, period, man, as it is written in Acts 4 and 12. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who do real well today. As it is written, in a sincere peace, love, blessing, salutations, and to all those of you hopeful, faithful, potential members of the elect out there doing the best to make the calling of your election sure wherever see, wherever so you may be today, man. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. This is St. Peter 3. And uh, verse 5, it says, For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by, that by the word of God. In fact, let's back up a little bit, man. All right, because this is this is what we are invested in, man. All right, there's a spiritual arc being built. All right, to defend against this uh, uh, this this day of putting out wickedness, if you will. And many of the people, man, they fail to to see it, right? Just like in ancient times. So anyway, this is Second Peter three and uh, four. It says, and saying, where's the promise of his coming? Right. That's what the, these people are saying today, man. Where's the promise of his coming? scriptures also say because a sen uh, uh, sentence against evil work is not executed speedily it's fully set in the sons of men to do evil man basically meaning that because the heavenly father doesn't judge your ass right away and the reason for that is, is because there's a grace period not a grace period for you to do wicked ass shit man but a grace period for you to get your get your stuff together so that when the when the 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 man comes to collect his dues that you got a grace period to get together that you have them man you see, that's basically what we're doing. That's how we're building up that ark, so to speak. But, hey, because of that fact, these people, what they do is they they get bold, man. <laughs> and as we just read, what do they say? And saying, verse 4, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this, verse 5, they are willingly, they are willingly are ignorant of and why is it that they're willingly ignorant because that it's about to go in what the the let's go ahead and continue that by the word of god the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water whereby the world then was being overflowed with water perished right so they're willingly ignorant of the fact that the lord perished this whole fucking place man and all these people by water you see <laughs> the whole place man and every single ancient civilization has a story that that uh uh cosigns to this fact man all right you could you could go through every single ancient civilization and they have a story of this great flood that took place man and it was the lord that did that you see so these people are willingly ignorant of that even to the fact that the heavenly father gave us a, a sign Right as a testament that he wouldn't kill us in that same way again, which was the rainbow. Now they took that rainbow and portrayed it to to used it to uh, uh, banner around uh, wickedness, man, abominable acts. You all know what it is. You see. So what do you think the heavenly father is going to do now, man? Let's go ahead and continue. Verse seven. It says, "But the heavens and earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire." against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men you see that man this place is reserved for fire and how is the heavenly father going to pour that fire on this place let's go ahead and get some further examples verse 11 seeing that all these things shall be dissolved so this fire that's going to hit this place is going to be so great man that that what it's going to dissolve this place so let's go back to verse 10 and now ask yourself what weapon it is that does that today man verse 10 but the day of the of the it's like it. the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Man, it's crazy how quick these these uh, uh, instruments of fire are able to be shot from from nation to nation. Man, in fact, Russia is saying that some of their mess, their 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 instruments of fire will say at this point in the lesson, right, could could reach right destinations within seconds, man. Within seconds, meaning that you barely have enough time to throw up a quick uh, 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 prayer to the Lord before you eat the heat, man. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What kind of weaponry is this? 
especially that was being prophesied of in these times. It says, In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. My goodness, man, what kind of weaponry is this? <laughs> it says, The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Hey, so there you go, man. Right? As we just read, verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness i bet you they would have operated a little bit differently in the time of noah had they known that that water was really going to kill them all man verse 12 it says looking and hastening unto the coming of the day of the god wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved so this fire is going to be so great what kind of fire melts the heavens man you got to ask yourself this i mean use your common sense man how's the how's the heavenly father going to bring this forth he's already shown us these signs man he's already allowed this 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 weaponry to be fashioned man. now it's just got to be used and it will be used according to prophecy man and i'm going to pull up a video that shows you exactly what it does as it hits as these missiles hit man you got to be a goddamn fool to think that these things were not prophesied of all right it says, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What kind of weaponry is it that melts elements, man? You see, in fact, it tells you that, that as soon as this, that what, what happens is a chain reaction, all right, when, when these uh, 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 missiles ignite and it causes these atoms to just be ripped apart piece by piece, man. Basically, it dissolves you, as we just read course this 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 type of weaponry man would be prophesied of within the scriptures nevertheless we according to his promise looking for a new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness hey so we know this place is through man we know this place is over we know it's end. we know these thermonuclear uh, missiles have been created for a reason right and before i play this video i'm gonna go ahead and grab one more preset which would be in the book of zechariah the 12th chapter um and i believe which verse was that Zechariah 14 and 12 it says and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet <laughs> hey how does that happen man what kind of weaponry is going to cause your flesh to consume away while you stand upon your feet well we're about to show you and yeah and you could get another depiction of that right uh in the Terminator movie uh what happens to Sarah Connor man it says, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. So of course, uh, uh, a weapon of this caliber of, of destruction, man, is going to be spoken of within these scriptures. All right. Um, so let me go ahead and let me go ahead and play this part of this video. And this video, right? I'll go ahead and put the link in the description. Right, but it's not being done for any, uh, you know, in any way to benefit myself financial, uh, financially or anything like that, man. It's just simply being used for edificational purposes, man. All right. So, uh, you know, um, I will put the link in the description as you can see it here. Uh, Atomic Marvel. It's got us all kind of videos of, you know, things that could happen to the human body, but very suiting for what we just read, man, out of Zechariah, uh, 14th chapter in the 12th verse all right this thermonuclear destruction that's prophesied of within these scriptures to to put out wickedness out here man all right this is what is going to be tasted and let this be an example man so i can straighten this thing out
you see it causes permanent blindness, man. Burned. You can see all the burn marks all over the body. Right? You basically just became cooked, man. This is, uh, and then that cook has taken place from what? A thermal radiation pulse. And, hey, it causes temporary or permanent hearing loss, man. And this is from the, the, the furthest out zone from this blast. This is this is the, the type of destruction the Heavenly Father has stirred up, man. And, hey, as it is prophesied, 200,000, thousand of them to hit America, man. All right, now when you do the math, that's 200 million thermonuclear missiles prophesied to hit America, man. <laughs> Heavenly Father has some things planned for this place. thought the story of Noah was something like Destroys the respiratory system, destroys the brain, <laughs> causes hemorrhages, destroys the digestive tract. was left to you man <laughs> and clearly in, in some cases you still be alive man
ripped apart by element by element. So again, man, you wouldn't think this is prophesied about? <laughs> and what is all what is all this talking about? This is Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5, and it reads, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. Right, those ancient battles, swords, right? <laughs> hey, confused noise and, and, and bloody, man. It says, but this. All right, so there's something about this prophecy that Isaiah had seen that's also reiterated in the book of Revelation, right? It says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Right, so this type of war, the war to end all wars, is going to be done with what? Burning and fuel of fire, man. As we read, the first death was with water, the second death. Hey, the Heavenly Father has prepared 200 million of these thermonuclear missiles to, to with, with America, with America's name on it, man. You see? So, hey... If, if you live in America, man, and you ain't repentant, then this is more than likely your future, man. And this is if you get through the time of Jacob's trouble by taking the Karagma and escaping, right? Probably doing all sorts of nasty, wicked-ass shit in order to get that far, man. <laughs> Just to eat a missile, man. So with that being said, Lord willing, this is edifying, man. I'm going to go ahead and close it up here. All right, I could go ahead and continue and go on. We know there's many, many scriptures on these on the prophecy of this thermonuclear destruction. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and close it up here, man. I believe the point's been made. And until next time, this is Brother Gar. Shalom. Call him like you help by Shai.